Cue the music, James. Welcome back to the Everyman Guys. The Everyman Guys. We still don't have a logo for me I to know. do this under. Someday we'll listen. We're, you know we're working on it. When we get to that, you'll know that we're like very Legit. well into into the pod. Yes. Welcome but back, Tori. Do you know what I realized? Today, <sighs> this smart. episode is episode 25. 25. We're halfway yep. to 50. And it, on, it feels like, I know we, we we both talked about, it was like, it feels like we haven't shot a podcast oh in my forever. But in all <laughs> that's, reality, that's, you know that we happens. just shot one at camping, and that was two weeks ago? Last week? No, it was last weekend. No, two weeks ago. <sighs> I have no idea I what know. time is. <laughs> what is time? I don't know. I don't does time exist? exist? I don't, I don't think, think so. it does. Um, so I don't think it does. So in honor of coming back to do a podcast for the first time in a little bit, um, we wanted to do an episode where it was kind of just what we had going on, a little more of a serious on. one, as opposed to that kind of an episode, <laughs> <laughs> which we've been having. That kind of chicanery. Yes. And ridiculousness, guys. We're, and every time, kind of every scenario. time we went to talk about something that could have been talked about on the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. like, no, wait, save it for the pod. Exactly. So, so we have a lot now. saved for the pod, but yeah. we've seen a lot of each other. Yeah. But I feel like I haven't seen you in a while because I've seen you so much. Not like this. This week now, I'm like, mm-hmm. I haven't seen you in a while, like in a, this kind of scenario. Because we went camping. With the boys. Yeah. And then the was girls great. went on vacation the next weekend. So it was the boys again. All yeah, I know. At home. It was. So. Man, a weekend away from my woman. Two weekends away lot. from your woman. It's a lot. From my woman. Which is odd because we work together. So I see her yeah. every single day. But it's just, but it's just context, different. Yeah. I know. It's just different. It's your business associates um, at that point. Speaking of uh, the camping trip. <laughs> camping trip. Speaking of the camping trip. Uh. I have that video done. Let's go. I'm going to try to do like, uh, I was thinking, trying to think of how I could break it up. Yeah. And I knew right away I wanted to do just kind of like a cool vibey yeah. short film of like, hey, this is <gasps> this is what we did. Right. And just like with like a backtrack, not anything too serious. So I have that done. Um, and have... then I want to have a separate baseball episode, oh, sick. which I have an idea to talk about with you. Well, I want to go to, I want to go to do. Man, I'm jumping all over the place. We but, are. We're, we're, but we're, it's all sort of on the same lines yeah. of short films and like the skits that we promised. Which are coming because I have one scripted. <sighs> I have probably, one scripted. Oh. I have one scripted. High five. Ready to ready to shoot. That's maybe. probably the first solid high five we've, we've had, had ever. <laughs> ever. Um, but I want to go to the batting cages and film it. Yeah. And do like the everyman guys I'm go to the batting right, cages. Buddy. So I'm we're right. gonna do that. We, um we could release that episode. Or not episode that short film on Friday, tomorrow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Last for Friday you guys, for it would have been yeah. last Friday. So yeah. if you saw it, then well, no, that means no. This we is releasing it. tomorrow, is it not? Um, because we discussed that. Yeah, we discussed maybe tomorrow. Editing it. Maybe yeah. it'll be like oh Saturday, Saturday. Shoot Who wouldn't want to watch like a two minute short oh, film yeah. on a Saturday? On a Saturday. Come on, on a Saturday. Be realistic. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the camping trip that was really good. Uh, short film Lots of done. Fun. Um, did you watch our our camping podcast? Yeah, I feel if like you it didn't, was that was fun. It was fun. It was only it we was were a short tired. One. Yeah, it was like thirty four minutes. Yeah. But we were tired and like it was midday. It was yeah. a little hot, it was a little but hot. it was awesome. Yeah. Camping trip was awesome. It was a good time. So no watch that. Required. Watch that. Um, that little the short pod. film and the, the short. Yeah, film. in the short film. Yes, absolutely. Um, so this episode, we kind of want to just brought to you by nothing, nothing because us. we're not sponsored, <laughs> but you know, what's funny is speaking of not being sponsored, <laughs> um, hey, I went hey. back in like our, our videos are getting more views. There's yeah, more, more definitely. episodes right at hundreds of views. Yeah. So thank you guys. Yeah. Tens of views. Tens. <laughs> Tens, Tens of, views of views. I think taking multiple. a bit of a break. We took a bit of a break, but we didn't. We missed one. We missed one week. one day of an uh, episode release. Do we? Yes. Okay. Are we? Even, are we actually even missing a day? I think we I missed, think we are. Yeah, we missed the because I was are. sick. Yeah, which I pointed out in the. But uh, we also missed the following Tuesday. I think I posted that. 
because we posted the episode that we shot while I was sick and then the camping episode. Yeah, but there was like three weeks in between that. I don't think there was. I think we missed a I good I only chunk. missed one week. I don't know. I think we only missed one. Maybe. I think yeah, we only missed maybe. one Tuesday or one Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I know it was a Friday that we missed. We might have yeah. missed an extra Tuesday in there. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, we're back. And um, so diving in... Um, our schedules. Head first. Speaking of the camping trip and then the yes. weekends that follow, <laughs> and then the weeks. The it's weeks just and endless. Like weakness. we said before, we're like, oh, do we just do one episode per week for the summer? Because yeah. Monday of night, busyness. You go, you, Ian, and Jake go play baseball. Yeah. And then Tuesday night, they have soccer. Yeah. And Thursdays. Sometimes. And Wednesday night, we go to church. So that's not really possible for us to do a podcast unless we do it late. But then we're shooting till like almost. Yeah, and then 10, we get 30, up for work. 11. So Thursday, I mean, we still have to edit the episodes. Yeah. So, but I'm okay with it if it means we're doing more skits because skits are kind of like definitely we could do them on our own. Yeah. If we had to. Um, and spring is kind of the time around us that is like project time. Yeah. So my family, like four of my family members are doing projects that I'm going and help it with. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you're getting your pool. Outside work. And How's that going, by the way, the pool uh, situation? We're, my dad's got his plane all together. He started digging, and I'm going to continue to dig on um, Saturday. So um, you, you you said it was different than what you originally thought? Yeah, I thought we were laying concrete and stuff. We're just digging it down and putting it and like patting it out and then putting Oh, sand. just flattening the mud and stuff? Yeah, like digging it that out and then big, moving you, it closer. To the deck. Oh, that makes sense. So that it's not falling in the back. Yeah. So it's so do you have to do anything to like dry that out? Do you don't what? put anything down? Like, what happens if that? But what's going to keep that mud from getting wet? And then like, well, because it, it is it is flat, so it's it's not going to get let. Like oh, I guess that's it's true. not going to run off so anywhere. So much it's weight a, all yeah. like kind of centered. Yeah. So, um, the reason I ask is because uh, Wednesday nights after church. Like yeah, the last going, couple summers, we would go back yeah. to Jim's house and just chill in the pool yeah. and then freeze we, and die. <laughs> exactly. And get attacked by possums. Like the first time that Loki came out, the Loki yeah, show. Yeah, that oh, was man. fun. That was we would so go back fun. to his house, get in the pool, yeah. and then watch Loki because we bring and the TV outside. The Phillies are on. Oh, and um, It's just... Hockey, the it's playoffs are on. And a NBA vibe. Play. It's a vibe. A very it's a good real vibe. vibe. Speaking of hockey playoffs, they're currently on and Tampa's playing the Leafs tonight. In that series... Has, has been, been excellent. phenomenal. Excellent. Me, Chase, and Jake were talking about it actually yeah. at uh, soccer, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Yeah, like that." I mean, I've only watched two games, and not right. not all of it. Kind of just like, yeah, while I'm working on my computer, just kind of turn it on. Right. That series has been excellent. It's been a fire. Playoff hockey is something it's, else. It's, it's Even bomb. if you're not into hockey at all, you'll get into hockey if you want. If you watch playoff hockey, I think it's clear who I'm rooting for. <laughs> Because the Flyers aren't in. Yes, so that's the that's only. The I'm deal. a I'm a Tampa Bay Lightning fan. Second, a Flyers fan always. But truthfully, can I be honest? Yeah, it surprises me that you're willing to root for another team. Okay, only because because, because your hardcore like Staunch. bleed orange. Yes, Flyers fan. I agree. The issue I have is I grew up loving Tampa Bay because we had a 2004 Stanley Cup champions movie. Okay. Of the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, and, how could you not when they had Martin St. Louis playing? And Wayne. Vincent LeCavalier right. at center. Mm-hmm. Um, so I watched that movie all the time because I loved hockey. And it was like the one place. I Like YouTube wasn't around when I was younger. So uh, you relied to, on the stuff so that I you relied, had So I relied on that disc to, to p- pump pure adrenaline hockey into my into veins. Into your soul. Exactly. And they play the Flyers in that, in that season, in the mm-hmm. Eastern Conference Finals. So I just fell in love with the team, and I. I would just say it would be. It's they're my, more. They're my only league that I have a second team. It would be favorite. less surprising if you had another baseball team that you rooted for. I agree, I agree. It doesn't really yet, make sense, and yet you do. And you I have get, another I hockey crap team that you root it, for. But what I say to you the get, crap is. Oh, <laughs> but, here, but the deal is, you get crap for it because of how big of, of a, a Flyers, Flyers fan, fan I you am. Are. Exactly, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. I can't explain. I it. never like really asked you about it, yeah. <laughs> but I was just like, oh, well, that's it's, just what I, he likes. It's just what I grew up loving. I love the, I love, I love the Flyers. 
the hell? <laughs> when the Flyers aren't here or he's away yes. on a business trip, <laughs> he likes the lightning. He's my side chick. It's what can what I is. tell you? <laughs> my side piece. I'm not that kind of guy. So speaking for teams, of, I am. Speaking of um, the lightning, uh, I have only... I think I'm on like day 36, 37 of 75 hard. You haven't been doing your daily videos. I haven't. So here's the deal. I started posting on this Instagram. Is the deal. I started posting on Instagram like every day. And I was, well, not every day. The first like week. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this every, <laughs> every day. day. <laughs> well, not every, every day. day. <laughs> I'm going to do it every other day. But no, like I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, every time it's just after work. I'm I'm on my walk for the right. day and it's the same video every time. Hey, it's still going good. Hey, it's so well, what I started hard. doing is like when I feel a burst of motivation, something new come to mind. I'm like, this might this might help inspire someone else. So I was like, I'll post that. Next week he's gonna do it shirtless, like <laughs> in a fridge. Like what it do, baby? He knows it's, uh, it's well. Eat all foods. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh. So that's that's why the lack of um, I love how. Can I just point out real fast? Sure, this is, bud. This is uh, coming up for you. Yeah, because I know it already. Go for um, it. We're the so book. sophisticated with the book. I didn't even do that on purpose, <laughs> but so, it is. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. That's the book that I've been reading. Yeah. So I like how we went from we did a podcast about books, mm-hmm. and now we both are reading. I'm reading. I have finished a book, and now I'm on to my I, listen, second book. I can get into that halfway through, but I want to hear about your book. Because it's the Bane trilogy. It's the Bane trilogy. Okay, of tell me Star Wars. What is the Bane? The and Bane. Why is it the trilogy? The tri- <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a trilogy because it's the third, <laughs> the three, and it's um, Bane is uh, it's, it's Star Wars. So it's before uh, all the movies. It's like uh, so. For you who don't know, in Star Wars there was the original trilogy, and then there was nothing. No one really had any movies because it wasn't mm-hmm. like big franchises pumping out movies all the time. So people wrote books, and they were considered. To be the like actual spin-offs? histories, yeah, yeah, or, no, well, yeah. like just histories, okay. and, and, I and you. you know what I mean. So um, I think it was two thousand seven or two thousand eight. After the prequels, they were writing stuff from before the prequels, like the old Republic, it's called. Mm-hmm. And Bane is a guy, from a guy named Drew Carpetian, who's a writer, um, and it's about the you know how in Star Wars there's always two Sith, there's a master and an apprentice. Yes, it's mm-hmm. called the Rule of Two. Well, this he. He founded the role of two. Founded Cause, it because the Sith used to be many, <laughs> numerous. And he just pointed it out. He you mean? he realized that they were weaker because they weren't they weren't concentrating their power. They were letting it all like be shared. And what really was the true power of the Sith is one to hold it, one to have yeah, all the power, yeah, yeah. and one to crave all the power. That way, they were more powerful. So is is it's question. Yes. Is Bane a Evil. person? Yes. Okay. And he's Got bad. It. So he's he is the founder of the way like Darth Sidious and Darth Vader, he is the founder of that way. Okay. Okay. He's a thousand years. He's a thousand years before. It takes a second, yeah, it but does. I got it. He's a thousand years before the, the new stuff. Like the, the original trilogy and yeah. the prequels. So he's like way back. Yeah. It's like it's like really um I would say it's like heavy Star Wars. Like it's more adult Star Wars than Oh really? Yeah. Definitely. So is Bane so I guess when I think of Bane, because you had told me about other books that you read. Yeah. What is is it Thrawn? Thrawn, yes. Okay. So <laughs> I love this. <laughs> is it similar to that? Uh similar because I don't know anything about, about either, but I've heard you talk about both. Thrawn a came bit. up the same way. He was in between um the old the original trilogy and the New stuff, yeah. so people wrote their own stuff. Yeah. So Thrawn is a character who was part of the Empire after the Return of the Jedi. When the Empire oh, fell... He knew so much about Star Wars. Exactly. When the Empire fell, he was the heir to the Empire, which is the book I'm reading yeah. now on the side. Um, so he's trying to bring back the Empire. And he's going to be... Now they're introducing him to canon because all that stuff was like, okay, that's not real anymore. That's not true. Mm-hmm. That's just legends. Okay. So now he's being brought into actual canon Star Wars. Like, it's real now. He's been, he that's, was in. That's funny that you say that. I was going to ask, like, is Bane and Thrawn in the stuff like that that say, like you said, there wasn't yeah. just like a bunch of movies or a bunch of shows right. being pumped out. Is that, are those kind of um, stories and um, spinoffs, 
accepted by Star Wars? Do they become a part of Star Wars? Uh, they they or aren't, is that just like fan fiction? They sort of aren't yet. But th- like what Thrawn, I think they're going to do the same thing with Bane. Is Thrawn is just okay? We're going to kind of retell his story a little bit, yeah, but it's yeah, the yeah. same basic premise. Okay. So okay, it's the I same basic premise as the other stuff, but it's like, um, uh, he's now just being reintroduced. Bane mm-hmm. hasn't happened to it hasn't happened to him yet. Yeah, but Thrawn is currently because it's such a good story. Because it's such a good story. Yeah. I think Bane is one of the best Star Wars stories out there. Okay, so it probably will be. At some probably, point. but I'm Disney. Disney, Disney, <laughs> Disney can't do it. Yeah, Disney right. can't do it, guys. Disney can't do it. Um, but yeah, speaking of Star Wars. There is a new game coming out. Oh my gosh! What is it called again? Jedi Survivor. Jedi Survivor. It's a pr- okay, sequel so is to it the Jedi s- Fallen Order? Which, which I need to out. play, by the way, because you need to play so bad. isn't it on? What's it on? The Xbox. EA and Play. The PlayStations and the yeah, it's on the EA Play. EA Play. Yeah, I have the option to play it. You know, it was really fun, but I just when could get into it. When it's like like I explained it to you with like yeah. playing video games, because we were talking about schedule, yeah, which are very busy. Yes. There's very limited time. You typically it's like at the very end of the night. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to sleep in roughly like 15 minutes. So what can I do? <laughs> right. Typically it's like go and play MLB and then right. do a home run derby and then go to sleep. Yeah. And I can't even stay awake for it. Right. Unless it's Friday night, then you and I have been playing Battlefront Two, which is bomb because recently Off we got on like day. a Star Wars kick. Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, I would like to play that. I'm excited. It's, it's a good game. But I, I really feel like I need it. to play the first one. You definitely have and to. And also need to finish the Hogwarts game. Yeah, I have to finish that. But I don't think I'm Hogwarts going to. Hogwarts Legacy. Because you know what I did yesterday or the other day? Hmm. I, too, have been refurbishing my schedule. Oh. Due to need some of the we're suggestions gonna, you've had. We're going to discuss slowly, it. Yeah, oh, I can't wait. Due to, to the suggestions in. you've had. But I, um, I'm taking my time more seriously and devoting it towards you. Me. And proper things. Bettering yourself as opposed to... There's a passage in the Bible. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it says idle hands breed something. Evil or discontentment or whatever. And I realized that I was being idle. Mm -hmm. I wasn't fulfilling my time properly with with worthwhile things. Can I go now? Um, Yes. Okay. See you. (laughs) (laughs) No. So, okay. My book, not my book. I didn't write it. The book that I've been reading is Atomic Habits by James Clear. So it is the bomb. If you feel like you want to make a change in your life or for the better, to be to be more of a sophisticated, uh, well-rounded human, or you just want to be like, I'm interested in reading it because I'm interested in reading it, give it a read because here's the deal. I am very much one that is in which everyone is your entire life is made up of routines and habits. Literally everything you do every single day is a combination of habits. So you form habits by predicting what's going to happen in the future just by human natural, um, reading of a situation. You see, you see a, um, you see sharks out in the ocean, you don't go out in the ocean because you predict that if you did that, you would die. So something as minimal as that that you don't even have to think about to something that you're like, okay, I want to be the type of person that gets up early in the morning, has plenty of time, and is clean. And what I mean by clean is, say, tidy or like just take care of your room, say, for, for starters. Don't pan behind the camera. (laughs) This isn't my room. (laughs) So the deal is, say, I'll just give you an example of what I started doing since reading this. I mean, I can go into more depth on that, but the biggest changes that I made so far is, okay, so they mentioned tidiness in the book right away, kind of like in the first chapter. So I was like, okay, well, I can get on board with that because... I'm the type of person, which I think most people are, not maybe not most, but some to where you get a burst of motivation. And a lot of you a lot of people can relate to this in the same way as going to the gym. You get a burst of motivation, you're like, all right, here we go. Your dopamine spike is through the roof, and you're like, all right, here we go. I'm gonna clean my room, I'm gonna wipe everything down, I'm gonna be uh, this is me, this is what I am. 
and then okay, you clean I'll your room for two, the first two days, and then you're like, "All right, this is this is this is me. What I do? You come home from work on the third day, and you throw your clothes on the chair. What's it matter? It's just it's a pair of a pair of jeans. Who cares? That right there, the small thing that you think doesn't matter is literally the reason why you form bad habits of just where your room gets dirty and then you get a burst of motivation and then you clean it. So if you want to tell yourself, okay, well, the little thing doesn't matter, then, okay, well, if it's a little thing every single day and you do the negative, you take the negative side of that little decision every single day, every single week, I mean, here and there you have the, no, you know what? I'm going to put it away. By the time you get to the end of the year, you're you're worse than where you were at the start mm-hmm. of the year. So imagine you come home from work every day. Now, okay, you ready? You take your pants off. You fold them. <laughs> do the folding. <laughs> you fold, fold them, them, put them in your drawer. You take your shirt off. You put them in your drawer or in the hamper, whatever. Imagine you did that every day. You would never have to worry about getting that burst of motivation to clean your room. And if you don't have to clean your room, it's one less big thing that you have to worry about in your day, in your, say, your day to day. So I started doing that every single morning. Every single morning, I make my bed. And I've been doing this for two weeks now. I make my bed every single time I go to take off an article of clothing, put it in a hamper or fold it, put it in the, put it in my drawer. I haven't had to worry about cleaning my room in the last two weeks. And that was something major. Every Sunday it'd come around. I'm like, okay, okay, what do, what do I need to do? And I need to clean my room because it's it's a disaster. Because, uh, well, the weekend came and I was like, I'm not going to waste time doing yeah. that. Yeah. But you don't have to waste time on taking these enormous tasks and just devoting hours to them if those little decisions all along the way – you take the side, you take the beneficial side of it that's going to make you better the next day yeah. or the next week or the next month, year, whatever it may be. Yeah. Because sometimes those little decisions don't really show the results until a year later or two right. years later. <clears throat> so that's kind of, I mean, I'm like 120 some pages in right now, but like that was has been the biggest thing for me. I mean, there's obviously other stuff in there, like who you surround yourself with, like environmental change. You can't be, you can't be expecting yourself to be an extremely healthy person if your house is full of garbage. So it's it's Fair. it's it's a lot of a lot of excellent stuff that has just been very eye opening, um, and um. I'm enjoying reading it just because it's like I'm reading to better myself as a person as opposed to reading for just like, oh, that was a good book. Right. Like the only entertainment, the only benefit that you're getting from those kind of books is just, oh, well, that was just entertaining. And right. there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm right. saying me not being, not in the past being a reader, like I don't, I don't get anything out of that. But right. I'm an easily motivated person to where I can latch on to things like, all right, let's yeah. go. Yeah. And definitely. this kind of did that for me. Yeah. But um Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah, and I've been telling you about some of the stuff that yeah. I've been kind of like latching on to as it comes and like right. what really opens my eyes. And yeah, like even even just um like being I don't want to get off track. Can we um, before you get off track? Can we please? T- it's a very is there, poorly timed timeout. Do you hear the buzz? I do hear the buzz. Okay, can we just figure out what that we'll is? We'll figure out the buzz, but we'll, we'll keep it live. Yeah, we'll keep it live. I'll I'll um, I'll actually keep talking because I'm gonna um just tell you more about the book. <sighs> so James, can you still hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Can you just on the on your headphones? Yeah. The the the, the plug in is that plugged in at all? <laughs> okay, Kidding. we're back. We're officially back. You talk. We apologize for the break, but yes. here's the deal. Whoever, whatever type of person that you tell yourself and that you claim to be is genuinely who you are going to be. So hear me out. 
Have you ever heard someone that said, oh, I'm terrible with directions? Have you ever have you ever seen them then later down the road reach out and be like, oh, let me figure out where we're going? Or, uh, no, it's always I'm terrible with directions or whatever it may be. Now, think of think of that in, say, a way that's actually beneficial. Like, oh, I am I am a healthy person. So whatever type of person that you say claim to be or desire to be, you're going to do everything in your power to always be that person. Because if you're someone that is, oh, I'm, I'm a clean person, and everyone knows that about you, you're not going to allow yourself to be someone that has clothes all over your floor or the kitchen's a mess or say your car is a disaster because you don't you don't care about cleaning up anything. No, because you're a tidy person. Right. It's a good so point. The problem is is that when people want to make a big change from being that person, they go the opposite way. They're like, okay, here's the motivation. I, I'm gonna be skinny. And then they go on a binge where they don't eat anything. They're just dieting hardcore. They're exercising until they're going to pass out. And then they think they're going to become that skinny person. Yeah. Which you may end up being that, but you're not really that person. You just happen to be skinny. Right. And then you're going to go back to your old ways. Right. So the the reverse of that is, you know what? I'm going to be a healthy person. Right. And then you take steps along the way to always be a healthy person. And you know what those steps along the way are? They're those little decisions every day that you're like, okay, would a healthy person do this? No. Okay. Well, I am a healthy person, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Right. I'm gonna do the healthy person thing. And then you will end up being that healthy person, that healthy look. Right. And. It was very interesting to me because you see it literally everywhere and you see it with everything. Right. The burst of motivation, then the action, then you think you become that person, the but you're really not because motivation. you're working backwards yeah. and your mindset isn't isn't in the right place. And it's that's wrong, why you always guy. go back to where you were in the first place that yeah. made you feel... You run back to what's comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. You run back to what your habits are. Yeah, exactly. And your habits are what you've been building and just recycling since you were a kid because yeah. that's what habits are. Yeah. You don't you don't form a habit unless you do it enough. Right, exactly. So you yeah. can't the best way to change a habit is to start from start from a place of this is the type of person I am going to be. Right. And yeah. then you make decisions to to reference that new personality that you right. are taking on. And that was eye opening because because it's it's so true. Yeah. You always work backwards from that and especially with with eating and being healthy. Yeah. No one really you don't really hear it too often that when people are motivated to kind of take on that new persona of okay, I'm I want to be I want to be I'm so sick of being out of shape. It's like, right. well, you're you're not actually taking the steps to to not be. Right. You're yeah. doing what it takes for a little bit, but you're not actually that person. You're not changing your ways. You have to change. To I don't mean to be cliche and woke here, but you have to change your mind and then your body will follow. Right. Because as soon as you change your mind on say we're we're going with the food and health thing, but as soon as you change your mind on eating, like food is fuel. Yes, that that is actually yeah. true. Right. Food is not food is not something that I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going with it, but I know where I'm going with it. Basically, the train has left the station. Basically, you're just trying to catch basically up with it. you have to change your mind on how you feel about food, your relationship yeah. with food. If you want to be a healthy person. Right. If you don't care, go about your way. I'm right. cool with it. But if that is what you desire and you are sick of being an unhealthy person, then those are the steps that you need to take. And it's right. the same with Everything along the, along those lines yeah. that I wanted to be a tidy person, not that I was a, a dirty or didn't take care of my stuff, but yeah. it was it was like your room gets messy and then you clean it up one day. Yeah, and it happened every week, and I haven't had to do that because I was yeah. just like I I'm just I'm a tidy person, and then right. you start to become that person, and it's not just cleaning your room; it's 
okay, well, I have trash in my car, so take it out when I go, when I get out of my car and go take it in. You don't just leave it there because you're you're a tidy right, person. Right, yeah. Yeah. And it's a really good mindset to get on board with. Yeah, I agree. I have adopted similar mindsets. I'm interested to hear about it. Well, it started with my room. I organize a lot of everything, and it's like instead of coming in and putting my pile on my chair and being like, I'll get that tomorrow because it's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. But then it just, you know, kind of evolves from that. Then you do the same that. thing the next day. <clears throat> I go... I'm going to put it away. I put it away. I organize my stuff. I don't, you know, like, I don't, I'm just going to throw this in here real fast just to keep, no, I'm going to put it away where it goes to get put away. Because if I need to rush, then I, everything's in where it needs to be. It's not mm-hmm. like adding to the mess. Yeah. Because, you, you know, you leave your thing there and then you have to rush home one day and you're, you, you're adding to a mess. If you need to rush and you need to get, you know what I mean? Like, totally. It's way easier to be rushing organizedly. You know what I mean? Like, or, you know what I mean? If you don't have time. It's way better to have not time in a well put together room that's like, okay. Well, you feel better about yourself. Exactly, exactly. You you know what you're looking for, you know where it is, you know that you just okay, putting this here for now is it adding to already a mess that you just didn't put away because you didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Um also, good news, I've lost fifteen pounds since February. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Another high five. High five. Two good news um, for this episode. Because again, I am trying to be healthier. I am not succeeding as you're trying thoroughly. to be a healthier person. Yes, trying to be a healthy <sighs> unagi. See, there we salmon are. skin roll. Um, but I've recently started getting up in the morning and making eggs for breakfast, which is an excellent because breakfast. I have never done. I never do that. I never have time. I don't wake up and make the time. So I get up. <clears throat> I um, it might be frowned upon, but I read my Bible at night. Like, I read it on my phone, and then in the morning, I can't really sit there and read because I'm, I'm just too, like, so I, I put it, and I listen to it. I listen mm-hmm. to, like, I have two different, my night, I listen, I read, uh, a, like, you know, it's different um, yeah. parts of the Bible each day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll listen to it in the morning during my whole routine. You know what I mean? Like, getting up, I pray, read the Bible, listen to the Bible, and do my thing. Um and then I started making eggs, and I've just felt better about my day starting it like that. Um, well, before you move on to the next thing, I'll tell you about my new morning routine okay. because we're on that. Yeah. Um, so here's what I did is I wrote down what my routine was, and then I adjusted it and wrote down what my new routine would be. Right. And that was another thing that was pointed out is that write it down until it becomes natural. So right beside my bed, I have my paper with my list of routine. Right. I have it down to use the bathroom, brush my teeth, make my bed, sit on my bed, read my Bible, kneel down, pray at my bed. Right. Like so specific to the point where it's, I don't really have to think about it. Right. I just I just Do it. know to go to it. And I've been doing that for two weeks and I feel phenomenal. Yeah. I feel phenomenal. Yeah. My my entire day. Oh, you know oh. what my routine was before that? My routine was my alarm would go off at 5.15, and then I would just chill in bed until my al- other alarm would go off at 5.45. And then I'd hear that alarm, lay in bed, stretch. Oh, I'm not really ready to get out of bed. And then it would come to 5.50. You know what time I leave for work? 6 o'clock. Right. Now I wake up. I have written on my sheet which I don't know if I mentioned, but right. number one on my list is get out of bed at 5.15 when your alarm goes off. Right. I've been getting out of bed at 5.15 when my alarm goes off right. because I'm trying to form a habit. Right. And it's been going great, but my mornings are so much better now because I have I wake up at 5.15. That gives me plenty of time. I do my hair for work because I have time. Now that's too far. I know. <laughs> but, that is a but step I, too far, sir. I, I, I'm now leaving at like 15 minutes before I need to. Right. Some yeah. 10 minutes before I need to. And it's just your entire day is just set up yeah. so much better just from that, that, that little motivation or that little, not motivation, that, um, what is that called? Uh, what's the word when you Spark. push through to do something? Your, Motivation. No. <laughs> What's the word? Um, I knew this was the word you were looking for. For some reason, it just popped into my head to say it. No. When you hold your hold yourself accountable to do something. What's the word? It starts with a D. 
uh, uh, discipline. <laughs> discipline. There it is. The discipline. Hot dog. The discipline to all of this, all of this new excellent yes. morning feeling because of that discipline to get out of bed yes. at five fifteen when your alarm goes off. Sometimes all it takes also, is a little bit of discipline, also, and your day is set up the, phenomenally. The most important thing is adding the Lord into your day. Yes, into the beginning of your day. Like literally, which you is can't easy do to it. skip. Which yeah. is easy to skip when you're late for work. Right, but you but you literally cannot do anything that we're talking about without it, without yes. starting there yes. and getting better there. Because yes. if you don't get better there, I mean, for us, you know, that's how, you know what I mean. Like, if you don't yeah. get better there, then you're kind of just. You know what I mean? You can't do it in your own in your own Completely. strength. So Completely. you have to do it through him and and that gives you an opportunity to Exactly, exactly. And that was a huge motivating factor for me to be yeah. like, okay, well not only do I just feel better, but I actually have time to do the things that are the most important for me to do. Exactly. And exactly. And having that is is awesome. Yeah. But that is awesome that you're doing breakfast. Yeah. Cuz eggs it, oh, by the way, a protein, think. a protein rich breakfast is the breakfast of champions. Get your protein in. Who is it's butter? Unbelievably <laughs> important. <laughs> yeah. Um, eggs are the bomb. Yes. People who don't like eggs are just kind of... Yeah. Paula doesn't like eggs. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, <laughs> directly who I was talking to. <laughs> I was looking but her in the eyes. she's been trying because she had a breakfast sandwich from Wawa, and she ate, she ate three it. quarters of the egg. <laughs> And I was very, very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Paul. You cannot like what you want not like. I can just make fun of it. <laughs> um, so what else have you been implementing into your life? Uh, I, Guys, I'll just put it this way. Um, you know how people say like, oh, you're bad with money. Then guess what? You're going to be bad with money. Exactly. I'm the rule there. Like when you look up bad with money, my picture, a picture of Jimmy actually is, shows is up. actually it's there. Crazy. Um, leading to a link of it's all my money face mistakes on a two dollar bill. Yes, it's I am. Jim. I am the kind of person that is like, I don't have the money for this this week. Then two days later, I really didn't have the money for that this week because I've done the thing. Um, so I have been uh, cataloging my expenses, what I spend, what I pay for, why I buy it, what what alternatives could I use, and I've realized. And do you need? And do I need to spend that much money? Because that's funny that you say that. You're like just honestly just diving into exactly what I was going to bring up. Because I was bringing up money. Yeah. Because I don't think I'm I don't think I'm bad with money, but I think I could improve. Yeah. With, with handling my money. Yeah. I think I think the biggest thing is like um, is like I think it's the same thing with working out. Is like you could spend it right now. Slash, you could eat right now or just lay in bed right now, but in the long run, oh, you're gonna I, feel so much this. better if you go to the gym. Or in the long run, this. you'll be way more prepared for certain things and be more in a um uh elevated state. Uh, if you can have money, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like if you can handle your money well, you're like. Not in a way where you're hoarding it or being miserly or anything like that, but just managing your money well. Well, here's, um, well spending here's the it deal. on things you need and want are very different things. You need to kind of, like I really need to like figure that out. You know what I mean? Like totally. necessity it, it should outweigh want. And do you need it right now? Exactly. That's a that's a big thing. Yeah, that's a big thing. Um, it's like. Okay, I can spend it right now. Also, also, this is where I really struggle. And I think this is the the the, the thing I struggle with the most is this is routine. This goes to routine and habit. Um I have I know, I've known for a while what money I need to put away per week to have enough money for this bill mm -hmm. for the month. Mm -hmm. But every week I go uh, I forget and don't do it. Mm -hmm. And then the month comes up, oh, crap, I have that bill. And I spend my entire paycheck on paying bills that I should have been putting money away for the entire freaking time. doesn't make any sense. So that is what I'm working on, it's making those bills. Also, I'm, I'm lessening my bills. I am cutting out a lot of stuff because I wrote it all down, and I'm like, you don't it's use absurd. It's it is. Abs it's the monthly things that you mind pay boggling. for. But what mind I will boggling. say is, okay, so uh, is some advice that – I have taken on is when you are when you're trying to form a new habit or say for you like okay so you want to be 
someone that the is good best. with money. You want to be yeah. the very best. The best you be there ever was. That is good with money because right. you are not good with money right. currently, but you want to be good with money. Yes. So when you're trying to form that new habit, have a, um, I don't know the term that was used, but have a, when I do this, I do this. Yes. Yeah. So maybe that could be for you. Yeah. When I get paid or, or take it as detailed as you want at five o'clock PM on Friday, when I go to the bank and my money shows up in my bank account, I will transfer X amount of dollars to my second account for bills. Right. And if you actually physically write this down, which I did, yeah, because I was trying to say work on some things in my personal life with right. different habits, it helps immensely yeah. because your habits are literally a, um, your habits are a reaction of things that cause it. They yeah. are a reaction to a cause, right? And if you kind of create that cause the reaction kind of comes naturally over time yeah. because definitely. you're like, okay, well, it's like ding, ding, ding. Like a dog hears a bell. It's like, yeah. boom, I'm going to go eat dinner. Right. So as soon as you go, oh, money's in the bank. All right, I know what I need to do. Yeah, exactly. And at the beginning, it's obviously going to take time yeah. because you have a bad habit currently of avoiding that. Yeah. So that new habit My is dad just kind of taking the place of that. My dad suggested it to me. He said, um, take like two weeks from spending any money on anything other than Need. bills. Like, just just get it. And, okay, now this is... So, like, I have bills, like, somewhere in the middle of the month, somewhere at the end of the month, somewhere, mm-hmm. the, you know? So, like, it's like... Um, so, he said, like, put... To eat those two paychecks, put them towards those things that you need. You know what I mean? Those bills. Get them up to snuff to where it's like, okay, I'm two... If I'm in two weeks behind on this bill, yeah. I put two weeks worth of money for that bill towards that bill. And just catch up on it. And then you're not going, oh, well, I'm already this. and you're, You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just catching up, and then you're good. And then you can start budgeting and doing it every week. That makes sense. I was like, that, that makes a lot if of sense. If you're behind, yeah, that makes sense. Well, makes not perfect behind, sense. because you know what I mean? Like, I can if pay you for all that stuff. If you started in a stuff. bad spot. Exactly. Like, if, totally. I, if, if I have totally. a bill due on the 15th, and it's the second, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm already yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take no, the time to go, okay, I'm going to get myself ahead, and now we're good. We're clear. Because yeah. in the Bible, it says, like... Uh, you should be be t- good with money. Be, <laughs> don't be an idiot <laughs> with money. No, it says about paying what what you should pay. You should pay your taxes. You should pay your um, ties to the church, and you should give to the poor and pay all your bills. Yeah, and then you should pay. You know what I mean? And then it's food, yeah. and then it's other things. Mm. You need to pay these things. You need to be good with these things because it's part of being a. Uh, it's honestly being part part of being a Christian, part yeah. of being a human. You have to be good part at these of, things. Aside from that, it's part of just being a responsible adult. Being responsible, exactly. Um, I, I, I steer away from using the word mature. Yeah. Because I think mature has lost its meaning because people don't know I what agree. it means. A responsible is a very more a word that I would use because people are like, oh, you're not mature. It's yeah. You're mature. You're just not mm-hmm. responsible with that sort totally. of thing. And I think that's... Um, I, I I would use that word. I, responsibility with your finances is very important. And as if you're a young kid listening to this, learn it now. Yeah, learn it now. <laughs> you know what I mean. Learn. You'll have so much more freedom when you're when you're older. When you're older because it's gonna be a habit. Yes, and you exactly. won't even have to think about it. Exactly. And it'll be easy. Um, Paula told me she was telling me about what this. She uh, she's helped me a, a few times too. Like she's yeah. talking about what she does. Well, that's what she does for a living. She handles money. Right. So. Exactly. Um, she was telling me that when uh, about this uh, girl that she follows on Instagram, like yeah. she was saying that when they were like saving for something, um, they would when they got their paycheck and they had money to spend. If the money was, as, and this is like a, if you're really trying to save. Yeah. But I mean, you could use it like plus some. Right. They would, whenever they figured out what their bills were or stuff that they absolutely had to pay for, they would take the money that was left over and let's say it was $487, whatever the, and I don't know the correct, um, how she said it or how they decided, but essentially all it is is take the the last two digits. Uh-huh. That's what you have to spend. Just on uh, whatever you want. 
And then the other four hundred dollars. People get four hundred and five dollars are really screwed. Four hundred, <laughs> right? Yeah. But if you have four hundred and five dollars, you you then have less money than you had if you had four hundred eighty six. So therefore, you'd spend less. Right. So yeah. it makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah. So that I mean, that's it's a so situation simple, where but it makes sense. That's what, that's a situation yeah. where it's like you must be really saving for something. Yeah, yeah. But say say okay, so say it was um you have four hundred eighty six dollars. An alternative to that would be like, okay, well, I'll spend $186 and yeah. the other 300 will go into what yeah. saving yeah. for something. Right. I mean, if you're not saving for something, then it's a different story. But, right. but like that, that was something that I was like, oh, that makes sense yeah, because I feel like I'm constantly saving for something. Right. Like just with like buying camera gear or vacation or yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's actually a, a really good it. idea. Yeah. I, I haven't done it, but <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna do it. But I it's haven't a good done idea. it, but I'm gonna take it on right. because why not? But the, but the problem is, you know what the problem is, Jim? Rocket yes. money. The problem is rocket money because yeah. if you don't, oh, we should be sponsored by rocket, rocket money. money. I could talk about rocket. I don't money use rocket day. money enough though. You well, know why? here's the deal. <laughs> Every time it gives you an alert, it's like, your bank account has this much money in it. And then no, it goes, it doesn't. instantly it goes, your bank account is below this amount. It's like, You're thanks wrong. for a weekly reminder. You spent this much yeah. on this. You no, I didn't. idiot. Stop being dumb. Stop lying. But in Rocket Money, it's basically, you you can use it to create, like, say, oh, I want to save for a car. Yeah. You can have it to where it'll transfer money from your bank mm. to, um, say, your car saving. And I was like, oh, that's really, that's really cool. It's really interesting. So now I have certain savings set up to where it'll, as soon as I get paid, I mean, you can choose when it takes it out. You can do it weekly, whatever. Yeah. It automatically takes it out and sets it aside right. for me. And then I can transfer that back into my bank when I'm ready. Yeah. And that is awesome yeah. because it kind of eliminates. I mean, you can't just spend recklessly yeah, yeah, yeah. because you still have to know that it's going to take that money out. Right, exactly. But that kind of eliminates having to think about saving for something. Right. Yeah. That's true. Because it just does it automatically and yeah. it's like, oh, well, then I don't have to do it. Right. So you that's know, kind of why I haven't right done that yet. But. To kind of like just veer off real fast and come right back on. Okay, I got you. Um it was really hard to like talk at this angle because I see myself in the mirror and oh, I got used to it. There is a mirror over I there. I got used to it. But since we've been back, since you've been back. Right. Um I just see my. I keep like, hey, you can't not hey, just. Stare I can't at just see. I can't just not see myself. I see it. Um, I got it. You got, you, we should, we'll cover that. I'm next just time. no. We're just putting a mirror here, so you know. How it feels. <laughs> I'll look at you through the mirror, and you look at me through yeah, the mirror. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, that is something that I'm really working on with the Lord's help to get better at. But you know is what? The, is you gotta financial. start telling yourself that you are good with money. Yeah, I'm great with you money. You have to then take on that personality. <laughs> yeah. So. It's not just yeah. I'm good with money and I uh, so so I'm good with money. So every Friday I do this. Uh -huh. That's it. No, it's I'm good with money. So Friday comes along, you take care of your bills. Uh, yeah. Tuesday of the next week, hey, you want to order food? Mm, is that is that smart to do is that? Is that in the budget? Like, yeah, that is what it's all about. Yep. Is that you you think about like who you want to be? Yep, and that's what it's all about. Right, you know. Everything's a song in all reality. So I feel like we're like gradually moving into the next uh, part of it. And the next part of it for me was the gym because I haven't talked about me going to the gym in a little while because it has changed significantly just because of um, 75 hard. And right. the deal is, is I'm at the gym six days a week now because it's I, hard. In the 75. goal is to have two workouts every day. I don't do the 75 hard all of it on Sunday because I rest on Sunday because Correct. hashtag Sabbath. Correct. And I, so I still do the water and I'll still go for my outside walk just yeah, because that's, that's not like grueling or yeah. anything. Um, and I'll still do my reading. Right. <laughs> so yeah. I, the only thing I don't do is go to the gym. Right. Um, but anyway, also eat a pound of cake. Because <laughs> no, I keep my eating on track. Right. But because I am going to the gym six days a week, my routine has very much changed. The last time I talked about going to the gym and like what my split was for the week, it was push pull legs. Push, when you're going pull, to the gym legs. six times a week as opposed to three times a week, you can't really do that. 
Right. So what I started doing is I'm really trying to get my bench press up. So that's been fun. Lifting heavy yeah. has like completely rejuvenated my love for the gym, which I already did, but now right. it's just like twofold. It's like coming and back. Basically, it's in like waves. just lifting heavy has been right. Um, majorly uh, motivate motivating for me. Right. So Monday now I just do chest. Tuesday is and. Honestly, the rest of the days I kind of just mix it up. Like right. I, I honestly have to split it up my muscle groups up into what day I train them now, because I, 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 I don't have the energy to do them twice. I'll do chest twice right. in a week. I'll do it uh, Monday and then Friday, but that's a long enough time to kind of like be able to do them twice. Right. But splitting my my um, muscle groups up throughout the week has been good for me. Right. has been the best split for me so far. But it's been awesome. I've been absolutely loving going to the gym. Because so, it's like motivating because yeah. when you start lifting heavy, you start to like, oh, wow, I, I hit a new PR. Or right. you just, I don't know. It's just like I feel awesome. so much better about it. And like knowing that I'm doing it because like a new found love for it, yeah. is, it's, it's been awesome. good. It's been That's good. Awesome. It's good, bud. That's awesome. How's the gym been for you? I haven't gone uh, in the last week and a half. Oh, really? I've just been super busy. I've been working at Alex's, or I've been working at home, or I've been writing. Oh my gosh! Uh, are we getting? In, we're going straight to the writing. Uh, are I'm we? fine with that. Okay. I, you haven't told me about it in a while. I haven't because I've been like evolving it. It's been evolving. It's like a mind we haven't thing. had the opportunity to talk. We about haven't it. really because we saved uh, it for the podcast. Um, also, I've been writing scripts for. Oh, for skits. for skits. Scripts for skits. Scripts for skits. Scripts for, for skits. skits. Scripts That's what he does on his free time. Scripts. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, uh, I started the first chapter of my book. Oh. Yeah. What do you mean by started? What does started mean? Uh, I started writing. Oh. That means you have a rock solid story. Uh, and you know what I happens s- in the end. I, yeah, pretty much. Okay. A, 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 a but rough here's a deal. draft is idea. We don't happens. want you to tell us. I don't want to tell you. Um, but Just it's tell called us how it's the going. dead zone. Oh, the dead zone. The dead zone. Because of death. End zones. Oh, end zones. Oh, yes. snap. The area in which death occurs. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. It's, uh Yeah. It's a little bit different than what I described to you before. I'm just going through the things. It's like kind of evolving as I yeah. do it, but it's it's cool. I'm really enjoying it. I think, I think a... I mean, you don't know yet if it's I'm a novel the or a short right story. Uh, I think it's going to start as a short story. Oh, and then maybe like and then evolve extend it to like a director's cut. Yes, or or, or more like a on Audible. Yeah, more more like a pilot for a TV show that they and then they're like, oh, that got good ratings, so you have a full show. Go do it. Oh, that's the idea. I love. I'm that. gonna have my friends read it, and you're gonna have Jim Dale read it on Audible. Probably. Nice. Probably. He reads all the Harry Potter books. Yeah. That's why I know who he is. That's how you know who he is. There's a guy, uh, something Johnson, who reads the Star Wars books, is my favorite. Jim Dale's like British. Or is he? (laughs) (laughs) Not that British. Porter. (laughs) Porter. Um, Yeah, it's it's been going good. And uh, so, is this something that like you're thinking about every day? Yeah, I'm trying to. Have you been writing every day? I have not because I have just started the writing. You challenge. You challenge. I have been. uh, I. The writing processes is not fully ready to just be writing. I got you. So when I got when you. that happens, I'm gonna let you know and then, then the challenge begins. And you'll do your own seventy five hard. Seventy five yeah. days of writing. Yes. Every day. Yes. I might be done in seventy five days. I guess we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> That's um, awesome. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um and reading and listening to the books I've been reading and listening to have really helped me. Dude, okay. So um I don't know if I don't think I talked about it on the on the pod, but on the podcast, uh, masterclass. It's a yeah. it. You can sign up for it, which right. you and I have talked about, yeah, yeah. and I did last year because I was I wanted to learn about uh, photography because Annie Leibovitz does Annie a, Leibovitz, come on, does a uh, class on there of film photography and like mm-hmm. storytelling, and I was like, yes, I'm in. Do I'll pay whatever all, you want, take time. my money. So I did that, and, and then it. I slowly moved on to, okay, well, there was a fitness class, so I did that. Right. And then I was doing um, storytelling by 
Uh, the guy that plays, uh, he's a director, but he also plays in Mandalorian. The um, John Favreau. No, no. Taika Waititi. Mm-mm. The guy in season one where he goes and meets him, and they're in the room with the scientist. Oh, uh, and he has this kind of voice. Werner Herzog. Herzog. Werner yes. Herzog. Yeah. So he does. He does a class on there I about storytelling. The and He's a very good. Uh, one of the things that he says is number one for becoming Do a better storyteller, f- for becoming a better storyteller, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is is reading. And he just said he just reads, reads, yeah. reads, and reads. Yeah. And like hearing that when I heard it, like Earl, like months ago or a month ago. Right. I was like, uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. If I I, do that's this. that's a good premise. Obviously, right. he knows what he's talking about. I was like, but right. what else can I do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because uh-huh. I was like, I'm not a reader. Right. Now I am a reader, and I'm realizing the unbelievable benefits of reading yeah. books like this. Now, the books that you're reading are beneficial for what you're accomplishing. Yes. So it right. just depends on what your what your end goal is, but. Right. Reading this, Atomic Habits, and then I really want to read Green Lights because I've heard that that's really good. I don't know what it's about, but I'm sure it's motivating. And then he's going to get like the sequel, good. Yellow Lights, and then the last <sighs> of the trilogy, Red, light, red and Lights. And then I die. <laughs> but no, like like you said, yeah. reading has yep. really helped you. Yes. <sighs> reading is, I am I'm fine with being a reader. I am fine with being I, the person that goes on TikTok and says, here's my daily routine, and then he shows that he I read at night. For Maybe don't minutes. do that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, but I, I, no, I'm down I, with that. Yeah, I, I am down with that um, because it's it's been it's been excellent reading. I'm a reader. I never knew I'd be that person. Yeah, but I am. I feel like readers are on there. Like you're not a reader if you've read. Oh but here's God, the deal. Here's the deal. If but I didn't say that I was a reader, then wouldn't? I would have no motivation to continue reading. Yes, you'd be like, I oh, have to, you're not a reader. I have to. Yes, I have to jam that uh, into my brain cells that I am a reader. Yes, I am a reader. So therefore, I read books, right. and I want to continue reading. So therefore, I'm a reader. Also, you know, how the other day I was telling you about Ghost of Tsushima. Yes, I restarted it. The story telling in that game is it's phenomenal. Just, it just, it just, I, that's just one of my favorite stories of all time. It's so good. It's very good. It's excellence in excellence. a video game. It's excellent storytelling in, in a video and of game. itself. Yes, and it's also a wonderful game. But um, one thing I'm realizing is that um, it's like. Just like that is my passion, storytelling. Yes, and or I've video said it games. a thousand times. Story is storytelling is like no matter what kit, what form it takes, that is that is what I love to do, and that's what I love to hear, and that's what I like to listen to and talk about. Not that like long you ago. asking me about the Bane books. It's like I just want to punch a hole yes, in this wall. Here's why it's good. Exactly yes. because I want to give my own opinion about it. I've read other people's opinions. I've read. A bunch of different mm-hmm. things about it. I've read reviews. I've read different reviews of what goes to Sushima. People are like, oh, it's all right. Yeah. To me, it's a master class in video game storytelling. And Bane is like a master class in the certain storytelling that it's doing. It's I have just a question like, for you. Yes. Why is storytelling important? Because it's literally all we have. Literally, literally what binds us together besides the Lord is the ability to tell stories. That's why things are interesting because it's a story. Like, for example, I could tell you that I went to the mall today. I went to the mall today. Oh, cool. But if I told you a story about it when I go to the mall, when I went to the mall today, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. And you're on the edge of your seat and you're like, okay, mm-hmm. right? And there's a skill to it. There's a skill to being a good storyteller. And it's just like, I, that to me is just like, that it, a, a movie could have all the action in the world. It could be, boom, 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 boom. but if and I can't still be get fun and still be fun, but if I can't get behind the story, I'm not going to watch a movie. And here's the deal: the reason I asked, no matter how minuscule it is, the reason I asked is because not that long ago I posted a photo on Instagram, right? And I did like an Instagram carousel where you swipe across, and right. that was the question, right? I I said, why is storytelling important? And that's so true. It's like and asking why context. It's like, uh, uh, oh, you need context. Why context mm-hmm. is important. Yeah. Because there's a story behind that. It's not just a thing. We lose, like, we lose, like, the ability to describe things and the ability to, like, learn things if we just, oh, that's just a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's just a book. No, it's Atomic Habits. 
There's a story in there. You know what I mean? Even if it's just a, a just a, a book about what you can do, it's a story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, it's just a samurai story. No, it's a story about um, about sacrifice of tradition and I think, tradition playing a role in why it's important and why it's also a detriment. Yeah. Why? You know what I mean? And I think it's just, storytelling also just gives purpose to yes, everything. Yes. Like, because for example, a a photo. A photo of a Coca-Cola can with a blurry background. Right. It may tell Reference. a story. It may tell a story. Right. But probably not. Right. A very low quality image with not a very blurry background because say it's a cheap camera and that's all you had of a birthday party of your grandmother sitting there on the chair laughing and then right. the kids getting his hand in the cake and you see everyone else cheering and yeah. they're blowing out the candles. That picture, that that story gives that photo purpose. Yes. And a photo that just looks cool just because it looks cool has no story and therefore, in my opinion, has not that it doesn't have a purpose because everyone starts from somewhere. I think and the purpose the purpose could be something other than storytelling. Yeah. But storytelling in say a photo always gives it purpose. Right. I see I, here's what I would say about that. I think I think in my opinion to be an artist or to be like to 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 appreciate art maybe it'd be better. You have to understand that there's a story in everything. Yes. You can that's, find a that's story That's exactly what it is. In that's exactly what it is. Everything. Yeah. You could find a way to make it a story. Anything that you look at, any area you are in, you could make a story around mm -hmm. it. That's what art is. That's but, what creating art is. That's you know what, what appreciating art is. But you know what also is that if if you understand storytelling and if you are a storyteller, say in your images or in your videos, you yeah. people won't have to people won't have to really dig into a photo or or um, a video to be like, what is the story here? They'll right. feel that story that you're so passionate about. Yeah. If you're if you're just trying so hard to give something meaning, people are gonna. I th I think it's very obvious to me. Yeah. Like like why is why is a 35 millimeter shot of a street or like whatever like I, I'm just kind of referencing a photo that I've seen that really like was like wow that why is that so good right because sometimes you you can't really explain it but you can feel the story right, that they're exactly. telling yeah and then it might be the same angle the same 35 millimeter lens and you're like that I mean what like it's right, it doesn't yeah. do anything for yeah. me there's so much involved in Right. How to tell a story. Sometimes it's camera angle. Sometimes yeah. it's placement. Sometimes it's following the rule of thirds. Sometimes it's not following the right. rule of thirds. Like there's there's so much involved in storytelling. And if you are good at it, people will feel it right off the bat. Yeah. They might not understand it, but they'll feel it. Right. And that's I think I think storytelling just in general just gives your art purpose. Storytelling gives interest to everything. Look at it yeah. in a sports lens. If you're a sports guy, look at it in a sports lens. Like why are certain uh why are certain sports more exciting? For me, I feel like uh NHL playoffs are way more exciting and important to me than NBA playoffs. Mm -hmm. I don't think now because it's kind of evened out in the NBA. Yeah. But um before when it was like oh this team's gonna make it to the finals. Yeah. In the NHL, it's like there's a story behind every team and every team has a shot and every you know what I mean. And it's like yeah. the story keeps building and the storylines. That's why the NFL is so exciting because there's 17 weeks. Of a regular season that's just story after story. This guy's hurt and how this team's gonna play yeah. without this. You know what I mean? It's a story. It's a storyline. Also, in terms of sports, you choose what story you care about. Absolutely. You can choose any of them. I think there is story in each one of them. There's story everywhere but, in them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it just depends on what you find more interesting, yeah. what story you like better. It's why underdog stories are so everyone tunes in. Yeah. It's why uh last year when um Everyone was tuned into the MLB because Pujols was going for a 700. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Judge was going for 62. Like, yep. it's a record. It's a story. Yeah. And it's just, it's just so important. Yeah, I think... I think As I we th close out Pretentious Corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Um, I don't know. I, I, I just yeah. feel like it's... 
like with photography in particular, as soon as that switched in my brain, yeah. they're like, okay, you don't need you don't need a unbelievably crispy, clean portrait of someone with a beautiful right. bokeh background. Now that's that's a whole other side of photography, but but it might not really tell a story. Right. Sometimes it tells it a lot. Yeah. Tell, sometimes it tells a very important right. story. But if you're if you're not intending to tell a story, it's kind of hard to to create it. Sometimes yeah. it just happens if you're in the right place yeah. at the right time. But it, it's but, just kind of like it just it's why that different movies can have different styles because you you're telling a story in a different way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not every story has the same exact camera work. There's not one set way to do camera work. Mm -hmm. There's not one set animation. You, there's not one set way to do animation. There's so many different ones, and you can find the beauty and the storytelling and the wonderfulness in each one of them. And Fantastic it's Mr. Fox. That, that story, to, that people, kind of people animation. People that, that, that don't care about story in movies typically don't really like it because it's like, oh, it's not really yes. that interesting. But... It's, the storytelling yes. is there's a reason it's like what 96% yeah. on Rotten yeah. Tomatoes. That's a perfect example. And just the of animation is beautiful. Like, I mean, if you get behind Wes it, and Anderson. yeah, and so, like, of course, uh, Isle of Dogs is what I was telling yeah. you about. It's the same style, it's mm -hmm. very similar, it's hilarious, and it's a great story. Yeah, and it's just like that's you can find a story and art anywhere, you just got to look for it and care about mm -hmm. it. I think that rounds us <sighs> well, out because we're at an hour seven. Jim, the only thing is that you didn't get to um, everything you wanted to talk about. I did not. But, um, yeah, I mean, this was this was good. I, think we'll, I feel like I got a lot off my chest. I feel so, Not even, too. like, stuff that I was, like, Maybe we'll do part or two. upset about. I feel like I want to do more podcasts like this. I think part two. We'll record one more. We're not even part two. Just, like... Next episode. We'll Next episode. Do the we're going to do thing. the same thing. We're going to finish our points. We're going we're gonna to just talk about whatever the heck we want because we can. And then we'll be back to more of the other ones. Hopefully sponsored by Rocket Money by then. Well, for, 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 and James Clear, Atomic Habits. We're following you. We're which listening. you need to, which you, you're going to read that. I probably Are you going to read that? Probably no? not. I'm okay. just going to be honest I with you. I thought you said it, but it was it was it was It was you. you. It was it no, was Paula fine. wants to read it. She okay. asked me about reading it. Um I just don't do good with books like that. I don't care to do good oh, with books like see, that. See, there it is. Yeah. You know what's funny? What? Is if you would have said I'm really good with books like that. You would have read it. Science Ye and math. Yeah, but I think you <laughs> right. <laughs> That'd that, be like that me right getting there. in a NASCAR and going, "I'm I'm a NASCAR driver." <laughs> that right 45 there dead. is is the book. So if yeah, you I know. don't want to be like Jim, read that book. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a disgrace to humanity? Read the book. But we appreciate you guys tagging along for this yes, episode. Thank uh, you. Doing the more skits and stuff coming. It's at coming you. up. I've scripted. It's coming up. But it's in thanks the next for two watching. Weeks. Subscribe, like, share with someone that has never seen it before. Wait. Let's share it. Post on. I'll post on your Instagram. Post Wait. on your Instagram stories. We Wait. post all the time. Oh my gosh! I totally forgot. Thank you for watching, everybody. Guys, we can do the next one. Oh, oh dude, that was the best I one I kind of cheated because I looked in the video. <laughs>